Jay, is that you? Uh, Nabi. Wow, how are you? I'm very fine. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Yeah. Are you visiting Holland yeah, for a holiday? Yeah, enjoying nature and looking at this uh, wind windmill. <laughs> Wonderful. Love your head, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, what do you say? You want a coffee at my place? It's quite close by. Is it close? Yeah. I would love to see your place. All right then. All right. Follow me. Let's go. Hey, Measuring Hero, Jay here. Ran into Nabi uh, here in the Netherlands, so let's take this opportunity to go inside and have a look at Nabi's machine shop. Let's go in. So, welcome to my shop. I know, it's so good to finally be here in person, Nabi. Great. Yeah, it's great to have you. You're such a celebrity. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I, I, okay, so since we're here, uh, can you maybe give us a bit of a history of the business? Yeah, sure. Uh, business started in 1985. Mm -hmm. My parents started it. And uh, as you know, all good stories start as a love story. <laughs> so my parents met in the 1960s because cool. of their motorcycling hobby. Oh, cool. And uh, they met, fell in love, got married, got a wonderful child. <laughs> and then they, um, well, they finally started a business because my uh, parents bought a motorcycle with a sidecar okay. to be able to ride the motorcycle, mm -hmm. uh, the three of us, mm -hmm. and um, we needed parts for the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So my father, working as a machinist at Philips in Holland, he started making his own uh, parts, okay. and he bought a uh, lathe, put it in the garage behind our home, mm -hmm. uh, and a milling machine, and a cylindrical grinder, and well, some other All toys. All the toys. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> And he started making motorcycle parts and somehow, quite naturally, uh, it moved into a business. Uh, so, what, uh, so speaking of the business, what, what uh, are, is the business best known for? Uh, well, today it's uh, more precision engineering, like uh, wire EDMing, die syncing EDMing, mm -hmm. um, as contract jobs, as well as uh, honing and flat lapping, so, you know, surface lapping. Uh, as well as uh, contract jobs uh, in our measuring lab with our beautiful Zeiss CMN, <laughs> as well as uh, with our uh, roundness measuring machine, which yeah. is, um, well, very accurate. Now, I understand that lapping is uh, a passion of yours. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about, oh, here we are in the lapping section. Is yeah. <laughs> well, um, uh, I first saw a lapping machine on the local eBay. Mm -hmm. um, it was very cheap. I thought, oh, I have to have it. I don't know what lapping is, but I have to have that machine. Because one thing I knew about lapping is that it was, it was the most precise way of removing metal, even more precise than grinding. And I thought, well, I have to have it. So I bought the machine and it was terrible. <laughs> so I, well, threw it away, bought a few other machines uh, while learning how to lap. Yeah. And, um, uh, I thought, well, lapping, it can't be that hard, it can't be that different from grinding, if you know how to grind, if you know how mm -hmm. to uh, mill and how to hone. And were you right? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I couldn't be more wrong. It took many years and blood, sweat and tears yeah. Uh, yeah, to get a little bit uh, the hang of it. Yeah. But it's great fun. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Did you do any like apprenticeship or anything like that, or just? Well, a supplier of mine. Uh, mm -hmm. He's um, uh, Daniel. He's called. Okay. He, he always says we're both bitten by the lapping bug. <laughs> That's great. That's it's great. like um, a passion. Uh, my wife always says the word obsession comes to <laughs> mind. <laughs> In a yeah. good way, she understands. <laughs> but if you're gonna be a master at your craft, then you it always has to be a little crazy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but speking of that, I mean, this is, uh, I see we're in front of your lab. Yeah. So, do come in. Wow, well, okay, so my question is, what led you to being uh, a metrologist? Uh, well, it sort of happened. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a fun story. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it actually isn't. Uh, because my father, who ran the shop, uh, had an accident and Ooh. he suffered a severe spinal injury. So he was hospitalized for half a year and I was at the University for Applied Sciences and I thought, yeah, I had to stop with my studies. I, well, have to 
do something in the business. Do something with the family. Yeah, the family's family. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, I had no idea how to machine or run a business. So I had a steep learning curve, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but I managed. And at that time, it was milling, turning, mm -hmm. uh, grinding, die sinking EDMing, and there was a CMM as well. Okay. Uh, it actually was a manual CMM. <laughs> uh, can't imagine Old working school. with one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we got contract jobs for the manual right. CMM, right. and we got more and more clients. And um, I ended up um, well working for multiple clients all year round, sitting in this yeah. chair working. 40, 60, 80 hours a week. <laughs> only, too much. <laughs> yeah, only, no, you can't have enough measuring jobs. It's, it's too much fun. Um, and two years ago, we bought the Zeiss CMM. Uh, thank it's, you. Uh, yeah. It's great. Oh, and it's wonderful to have you in the community. I mean, you're such a, a fixture now in the community. And, and, and of course, you, you, you're the only two-time Measuring Hero yeah, Award winner. Correct. So that's fantastic that... Yeah. Uh, uh, that you you did that. What was the first one for you? It's the smallest measured ah, yeah, object. Yeah, yeah. So it's 400 microns square, uh, 30 microns thick, mm -hmm. and uh, I I had it measured on the CMM. I measured it myself. <laughs> it's uh, with a microscope on top of the CMM. Oh wow! Yeah, it was great. I didn't thought I would stand a chance <laughs> to the competition. Um, uh, shops with uh, metrotomes, O inspects. I yeah. thought they would measure way smaller parts, yeah. but Either they didn't or they didn't enter the contest. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, but, uh, you're the winner. <laughs> correct. <laughs> and then the other one was for smoothest surface. Yeah, right? that's correct. Um, so it was um, a product that took two stages of lapping, mm -hmm. two stages of uh, flat polishing on a lapping machine, uh, and a third polishing operation, which is called uh, CMP. Wow. And it, well, it <laughs> gives the, the best surface structure you can yeah. imagine. Uh, what, what did that measure down to again? Uh, it's an RA of 0.54 nanometers. Man, yeah, and uh, it was measured at the, Q, at the QEC, so the mm -hmm. Quality Excellence Center yeah. of Size in the Netherlands. They have a real fancy <laughs> LSM 900 <laughs> yeah. microscope, uh, laser scanning. Yeah. Uh, it's way above my uh, <laughs> level of knowledge, but it, it could measure the, the surface. Wow, it's well, that's great. Impressive. Well, I mean, what t to me is impressive about that is it's, not, you know, I know it's a measuring hero category, but it's really just as much of a testament to your lapping ability to be able to measure, or to, to lap yeah. down to that. I mean, so it really hits all facets of your yeah, business. Yeah, it's here. great it's to great. have uh, some recognition for, well, uh, the, the crazy hobby, <laughs> slash uh, passion. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, yeah. Nabi, uh, thank you for a tour of your fantastic um, facility. Appreciate you welcoming us. Uh, but how about that coffee now? I almost forgot. Okay. I'll get you one. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you. And for you out there, we hope you enjoyed our little tour of Nobby's Machine Shop. Don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy. We'll see you next time.